All right, welcome back to round six or part six, whichever you want to call it. Now I'm gonna need to go back to the uh, shop and get myself a heavy vac for the next two levels that are about to come up. Now let's begin. First three cat medals are almost near the beginning immediately, so this will be easy. Except for that guy right there. That guy's gonna be a bitch. Let's see. It's, it's like those one enemies earlier that I needed the fire vac, but instead of the fire vac, I need the uh, I need the ice vac on, against these fellas. Unfortunately, I can't use the freeze vac because I need to suck up that big piece right there. I'm gonna have to take out this guy the hard way. He need a he need like ten pieces to get him out of the form. There we go. Gonna need that for later. Whoops. Damn it. Okay. I guess you can't shoot it again. I wanted to show you a little secret. You can uh, climb up there. I believe there's just gold. It's not that big of a deal though. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's just gold and shit. It, it really doesn't matter. Anyways, jump over here. Jump over there. Suck this up. Can't uh, pick it up from here, so get closer. See, now you can one-shot an enemy with the heavy junk, the 16-pound thing. So, it's not 16 pounds; it's 16 tons. My bad. There's that cat metal, because I really don't know how you can get past it without uh, doing that. I guess you could try shooting trash right here. Actually, you might be able to... No, there's no way. You, like, hit the wall, I th I think, anyways. If you had, like, a copy right here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even going to test it. Fuck that. Anyways, let's go back and grab the actual first cat metal. Actual first one's right here. You run across here. And that's the last cat medal for now. I almost killed myself doing that. Let's uh, go over here.
Grab that. There we go. I accidentally shot off the uh, big piece of trash too soon, but it's no big deal. Worked out fine for me. He'll uh, return back up here soon enough. I actually forget where this goes. I'm kind of curious. I mean, look at that. That You had to use like a slow-mo. There's no way. No. Okay, so if you go around here, then... It's... Oh, shit. Oh, I almost killed myself. Wasn't paying attention, it's no big deal. Okay, that was bullshit. drop it takes him a while to despawn because he falls into like the abyss over there gives me a good drop. I'm just having bad luck right now. I don't know why he turned around at me like that. He should have gone straight for the gold right in front of him right there. See, he did it that time. Fuck you. Last time I played this, I had like a really bad loadout. I didn't get any of the time crystals I needed accordingly, so it really screwed me over. At least for the, uh, it screwed me over as far as getting like all of the uh, cat medals easily. Actually, I'm curious if I can hit that guy from here. Damn it. Come on. Got him. Don't even mess with that. Just use reverse. Bullshit. Suckling our one, but okay. Let's 
to use these in the next room. They will be really useful as long as you don't kill yourself like I did earlier. Whatever, no big deal. Pick that up. Worked out fine. Come on. Come on. I still haven't looked up this enemy's name. I'm actually tempted to just pull out the manual right now. Is that? Oh, I didn't know the camera actually follows them around. Dude, I'm wasting like way too much time just talking about shit. There he is. There. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck you. Okay, now don't even fuck around, run. I only have a minute left to do this. Pause. Or use slow mo. But you have to use a time power right there because I don't know how to get past that without it. He's dead. Damn it, is there not another pause back there? I guess not, whatever. I don't even give a shit. I have to go now. I was worried there for a second. I was fooling around a little too much. I almost got myself uh, to run out the timer. Let's see, okay, a thousand gold, that's not bad. On the level two. Oh, I'm kind of curious what those Cthulhu monsters are called now. So. The Chrono Blob, Spiker, Caropper, Octo Balloon, Dust Herder, Molgon, Molegon. Those are what the Cthulhu looking, looking uh, animals are inside the ground. Also, I wasted like 30 seconds. That's way too much time. Wait. It doesn't list all the monsters, so it doesn't list like, at least in the manual from what I'm seeing, it doesn't list like the giant blob monsters or the fire monster that I fought at the beginning. They're both the same type of monsters, just one's fire and the other one's ice. Variants. Uh, I think they name them in game, but I, I don't know what they're called in, without, in the manual, so... I'll have to like look up another source for that. Anyways, enough dawdling. Let's move on. So when you see those bubbles stop uh, popping, that means you can go. Uh, I mean like go without the door immediately closing, like I, I had enough time, it's just I didn't go quick enough. So 
Let's do that again. Okay. Whoop. The guy almost hit me. Yeah. Guess he fell off the edge. Whatever. See, be brave and jump across here. Okay, grab those two hearts. Trash. Uh, nothing behind there. See, you can suck. There we go. Need a, another pause. No, I'll find one later. Anyways, let's pick this up. Ooh. Well, maybe you could do this a different way. Hmm. Oh, okay. So. I thought that was where the uh, other. Damn it! I made the. Uh, I'm gonna have to find where that is. Only I find it during this run. The uh, other cat metal, I mean. Because there's three cat metals. Let's see. Shh, calm down, doggy. Back here. Shoot that to change the path. Okay, there it is. Ineffective. I had to try though. That's really lame. I wish it one shot it. I think it was far enough. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Hey, when doesn't do that. Calm down, doggy. See, pick this up. I didn't. Ah, huh, time crystals don't pick uh, drop when the record happens. Oh, that was BS. 
That was a close one. Damn it, I didn't want to hit that. Come on. Come on. Stupid asshole. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Ah. Why, why are these, like, Mulgons being assholes? There we go. Because usually they pop out and try to grab you like that, but these ones are very uh, reserved in doing that lately. That was some bullshit. Yeah, at least I didn't die. That's all that matters. Oh, whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that. Fuck. Where's the cart? Yeah, yeah, this is from earlier. Damn it. Okay, I need to speed up this. Oh, now it spawns. Well, fuck you. Fucking bullshit. On. Okay, there's hearts right here. I can use that. It doesn't really matter. I just want to finish this level, not redo this. Okay, run through this. Fuck this. Jump, 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 jump. Where the fuck? Okay, never mind. I know where to go. I always mess up right here. Built a platform here. Heart attack because I thought I got a bad crystal combo. Hold up, I need to let the dog out. I thought he was gonna take a nap the whole time, but he doesn't want to, so I'm just gonna let him out. So that, that that's uh, those three cat metals. Now onto the final cat metal. Also, there's a plane outside, so now I have to close my window. I need to change costumes, so let's go to this world real quick. Screw it, might as well buy it. I'll uh, buy the winter set next video. I'm gonna go with the snowboarding outfit. Yeah, fuck it.
pretty cool costume. I don't think I've ever chosen this costume before, actually. Or if I have, it's, it was very brief. Anyways, let's get going. Dang, knock him off the edge. But that looked cool anyways. Oh, it disappeared into the aether. No big deal. See, you actually want to record for this, but as you saw, I knocked both those enemies off, so I'm just going to do this. You don't want to fall off on that side. Fall off on this side. Dang, I wanted like a different fall animation. Well, anyways. Circle back, go here. And you're on the other side of the door. See the cat first cat metal you'll encounter is right here. Next enemy is uh, uh, go, comes along this cart. Shoot him. Shoot that for a different pathway. Or to change the pathway, I mean. Let's see. Shoot him. Backflip out of the cart like to look like a badass. Don't kill yourself like I have before. Let's see, use this time to pick this trash up before the enemies recover. This up and get three fast forwards. They dropped a lot of reverses, so you might as well get our reverse here. There we go. Shoot this for some gold. Blink CEO's yes. See, I think this one's safe. Yeah, this one's safe. Safe enough as long as you don't kill yourself. Oh, hey, look. This is a pretty good look at his, like, I'm on the cliff animation. Okay, anyways, moving on. Hit that guy. Hit that guy. I don't know how I missed. He didn't lock on, I guess. Damn it. Ah, whatever. Come on. Ah, oh, it made the other thing despawn. Whatever. Dang, if I had like at least gotten one of those. Oh well, it's no big deal. Come on. Ugh. That was a waste. Also, when you're in the carts, don't make sure you don't grab like time crystals while you're in the cart, because then you'll fall out of the cart. It's bullshit, I know, but yeah, that, unfortunately, that's inevitable. Oh come on, man! Every single time. Well, anyways, jump in here. Oh wait, 
You see that down there? That's the cat metal. Hold up. Come on. Drop down here. See, I don't understand this logic because if I did it like how I was supposed to, it seems like it works fine, but it doesn't work here if I if I do this where I'm not supposed to do it yet. Okay. Why do you keep doing that, Blinks? So, don't do it like this bullshit way. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to use the pause. I was supposed to use a slow-mo to bypass this, which is bullshit still. See, this frustrated me for like the longest time, but again, I think it has to do with how I sequence broke this by jumping down here immediately. I wasn't supposed to do that. So it, there we go. It let me do it when I do that, which is, I don't know why it works like that, but it does. Okay, so you don't even need a reverse for that apparently. That's the I literally just tested that on, on camera, so you guys saw it here first. I'll show you guys the proper way to do that when I get the chance. If I have the chance. I might just do an edit. If I can't do it in time. Okay, I already hit that. So what you were supposed to do is you're supposed to like run down here, right? Okay, I guess you can't make that jump without the cart. Yeah, you can't make this jump without the cart apparently, I, I guess. So never mind. Just just uh, keep doing the level and I'll edit it in later and post. See, so drop down here, cut through here. And that one was easy to vacuum up, unlike that other previous attempt on a different video. You know, in part 5, where I fell off the cliff and died. Which I'm still not sure why it was so finicky to pick that one up compared to that one right there, but whatever. Anyway, that's all the cat medals, I believe, so... See, it took a long time because I was just showcasing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I have all the cat medals, so that's good. Whoops, now time for the final boss. It actually sucks that I used up all my uh, extra pauses on this guy. Oh wait, what the fuck was I thinking? Start over, that was fucking retarded. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. It's 
So you can actually kill this guy super fast if you know what you're doing. Okay. Pause on him. Come on. Oh my god, that is... I don't like being bullshitted. Okay, come on, fire. Come on, shoot your trash at me. Okay. Pause. Pick this up. Shoot him. Now go grab those other pause crystals. He, now I won't be able to hit him because he's he has the invincibility frames active, but I can at least get stock up on these and not need a weight on him. There, that's more than enough to take out any giant frog. Pause. Hit him again. Pick these up. Fast forward. Run all the way over here. Pick these up. Run at them. Shoot him. Okay, pick this last one up. Record. Run at him. He can't hurt you because you're recording. Hit him. Split up from your recording. One reverse. Pick up that last one. There, now you picked up all the time crystals. Pick this up. Because it's in reverse, all the barrels are going back into his mouth, funnily enough. Game logic. Okay, record. Go into him. Shoot him. He's dead. Have your record run away so he doesn't pick up the money. Well, that from your recording again. And he's dead. Run towards him. And I just got like a thousand gold. There's pro you could maybe get two thousand if you if you did it perfectly. I'm not sure, but anyways, that's the end of the video. Here's the uh, post video. Due to a slight hiccup, I'm going to be doing this in uh, post-commentary. That means this isn't a live recording of me doing commentary synced with it. This is me talking in post after doing this. So what I did was I took the cart, but I didn't hit the sign or the to uh, switch paths, and it took me straight to the thing. And apparently, I'm a fucking idiot because. Like, just watch here. L look at this. I actually do manage to get out of it. It's not a sequence thing, by the way. What I was supposed to do was I was supposed to double jump after I let go, because you can't jump because you're already in the air, but you can do a double jump since you're already in the air. Which, you know, I usually don't think about that type of thing. Dude, this used to frustrate me a lot, but... Now you guys won't have to put up with that bullshit. The alternative is to do this right here, which I didn't even think about, was take that car in reverse time and then just play the rest of the level that way. It actually uses a lot less resources and saves more time that way too, so I don't know why I didn't just do it that way. 
Oh well, that's just hindsight for you, I guess. Anyways, from this point on, I just do the level as is. See, there's like two octo balloons left right here. Okay, yeah, that's the end of the level. So I'll see you all in uh, part seven. I'm out for now. Peace.